Hey guys, so I'm off into town today. Uh, very exciting, not really, but you know, whatever. Um, I'm actually going into Dr. Emma, who, if you remember from my I think my first, oh, L has to get in on the vlog. <sighs> so needy. Yeah, I think my first or second vlog, I went to her to get my lips dissolved and she also did my Botox. So she's been doing my Botox since I think it was around summer, midsummer, start of summer, something like that. And I went for a hydrofacial with her two weeks ago, which unfortunately was part of the last vlog. today I'm going in to get a look at my lips because I actually haven't had a consultation since I was meant to go in but we just couldn't make it work she's finally got her clinic open in Dublin um, not paid or anything to say this she gifts me some of my treatments but like I mean I've all intensive pain today and um, so we're gonna go into her today uh, get my Botox top up get you can kind of see so that's kind of like where I'm at with my forehead. <laughs> she doesn't go for the super frozen look, which I like. I still look really natural. I can still move my brows. I just don't like gather many like creases on my forehead. And then yeah, we're gonna have a look at my lips, I think. And I know a lot of people are saying like, don't get them filled again. I'm not getting any more volume done, but because we went more, like I had way more migration on this side and way more migration on this side, we actually had to like inject into the lip on both sides to break down some, it was almost like hardened filler, I think. like kind of like lumps so I think I'm just gonna get I'll see what she says but I think I'm gonna get just a tiny bit on this side a tiny bit on this side just to kind of even them out I don't want them any bigger and then I'm just gonna leave them and like not touch them and um, because I'm actually really happy with how my lips look I don't think I need any more size but I have had to do a little bit of correction with my like liner on both sides Um, I don't know if you can see let's see yeah see the way you can see that this one has more, this side has more volume than that. Same on this side, a little bit more volume than that side. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go into town. I really wanna pop into, um, there's a new pop-up shop in town. A Reverie have, a, like, it's not a stall, but they have like a rail in there and there's a few other little um, brands that have rails in there. It's on Exchequer Street, so I'm gonna try go in there as well. Um, and I might get a bowl of ramen. Um, I'm also kind of in the middle of like changing around some things in the apartment. I think I'm giving away this plant. My friend Fiona is gonna take it. Um, it's beautiful and that's why I'm giving it away and not throwing away, it's so big, but it's just not really, it's just not really growing. It's growing fine in this apartment, but like, I don't know, it's just, it wraps around this wall um, and I just feel that like, it's a little bit too big for anywhere I can put it in the gaff like if i was able to and like i know i complain about so much but anyone who rents an apartment will fucking feel see this table over here biggest waste of space in my fucking apartment like huge i'd say like i mean those chairs also stupidly big big fucking leather chairs like why but i'd say that fucking table sit could fit like eight people and we never have eight people over. The most we'd ever have is like another couple, maybe two other couples. Um, but it's just such a waste of space. If I had that area, like, if I had that whole area, you can't really see how big it is, but it's huge. If I had that free, I could like have like that plant over there, a bookshelf, a mirror, like it gets such nice light over there but I don't. So I'm trying to change around some stuff because we're gonna get our Christmas tree soon as well. Um, and I'll vlog that when we do get it and put it up. I love Christmas shit, I'm so excited. But I just, I've no, last year this plant was so much smaller and I was able to kind of put it over there, but this year it's just, it's grown too much and basically I just need to get rid of it. Unfortunately, I've had it for like four years, but like, you know, it's just a plant. I need to stop getting emotionally attached to inanimate objects. Um, so I'm trying to change some shit around the apartment. I just get sick of things and um, I have my eye on a new lamp, two new lamps from Ikea that aren't that expensive, which I was happy to find. Hopefully one of them fits well, but I think once I clear out a bit of space, it'll fit. Hopefully I'm gonna get Evan to drive me out there next week. Um, because I think he's finishing a work next week, so that will be great. And yeah, I also have to break down. I have this like ugly ass fucking vanity 
like not even a vanity it's like a dresser in our room i bought it when i first moved in because i was like oh i'll just buy some cheap thing and then i'll find something better never even looked for something better and it's just so clunky and big and falling apart and minging like it's disgusting it was from like woodies or some shit like that but i, I need to take it down and throw it out because it's just it's falling apart and it's just wrecks my head so i need to get rid of that today as well uh we're getting a new bed tomorrow so i want to have that cleared out by the time the new bed comes just to kind of I want to revive the bedroom. I have I bought these curtains in IKEA for our bedroom ages ago. Never got them taken up, and um, so I need to get that sorted as well. I have so much fucking annoying shit to do, and of course December is like the worst month probably to get all this shit done. But I'm gonna try. Anyway, I've been rattling on for too long. I'm gonna um, get my bag ready and go and get the train. Hi everyone, it's way later in the day. Um, I got my lips done, as I'm sure you saw. See, only a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of filler. Look, I'll show you. It hasn't like settled down yet, so that's what we're working with. Just evened out here and evened out here, and I'm delighted. And I think what we're gonna do um, in a few weeks, oh, is I'm gonna just get a lip flip. So I was talking to Emma about it, and she was like, yeah, lip flip is the best way to get like, kind of like just change the shape of your lips almost without adding volume because she was like look if it's migrated up like before it could migrate again and i also just don't want my lips any bigger i think like this size suits me better um i think like a lot of filler although it was fun to play around with honestly um it can be a little bit aging especially if you are my age in your 30s so um i think i'm just gonna go for the lip flip next time i also got my botox so there's still a few marks there i always um my skin's so reactive. Even Christina says that when she does my brows, she's like, what the fuck, your, your fucking, uh, your skin goes so red. And I'm like, I know, I'm so sorry. I'm terrible for a before and after with the brows. But exciting news. Um, the reason why I haven't been on since I came home is because I've been working away. It took me fucking ages. Oh my God, these things always seem like they're gonna be easy, but they're not. But Red Room is now available on iTunes and Spotify. Look at that. There we go, guys. It is up. My first public episode is up and ready to listen. I'm so happy. Um, I'm nervous though. I'm so fucking nervous. I, can't, I actually am like, like quite nervous. Um, you know, I spoke about it on the episode, but like obviously Red Room for me has been like my little baby this year. And it's also been, kind of in this little cocoon of people that have wanted to listen to it, who like me, I hope, and who like the same kind of stuff as me. So obviously it being public now leaves it open to like a wider critique, which is great. And like, you know, you can't, like in order to grow, you have to be like out there to a bigger audience. And I, as I said, I always wanted to bring Red Room public. So it's public now, well, one episode is. And I did note in the episode that I am bringing Red Room public in 2022. And it's something I've kind of spoken, very roughly spoken about, but I have begun um, a project for that. And how it's gonna work is like, I almost want like my pu public Red Room to be almost like Red Room Presents and then like a six to eight part season. Um, and I want it to be kind of have like to embody the like ethos of the podcast in a way and this is why it took so long to go public because I really wanted to have like my idea nailed down and I wanted it to be like you know 
a new skill for me and to develop my skills. So maybe not so much journalism, but like to go down a different route of podcasting and present something maybe a little bit more polished and a bit more um, elevated, I think. So I've only begun that, like the bare bones, like really just begun like some very rough researching. I'm hoping to bring it out in spring and uh, next year. The sooner the better, obviously, but I want to do a good job. However, if you go and subscribe to Red Room on Spotify or on Apple Podcasts, I'm going to start posting also some like trailers um, just so you can kind of get an idea of what the kind of content I'm posting over on Red Room is. I know it's always nice to have like, you know, an audio example of what the podcast sounds like. And, you know, I'm only posting something on Instagram that's like, you know, we're talking about UFOs and you don't really get much in info. So like if I can post like little small uh, excerpts from the episodes, I think that would really help people. And if you want to sign up, you can sign up, obviously. Um, but... I'm really excited for like the, it feels like kind of like the next step for Red Room and kind of the, the an organic next step as well and something I'm really excited for and something that I think is going to keep me very, very busy next year, which is what we want. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to cook dinner now. I'll probably be come back tomorrow because it's a bit late and I'm starved as is Evan. I haven't seen him all day, but TTYL. What do you guys think of my hair? I'm actually gonna try to do a tutorial on this next week because I did it last week when I went out for dinner and I wanted to see if I could do it again so I could show you how to do it. But I did it with a straightener. Um, I don't know if it's as good as last time, but I didn't put as much effort in, so my fucking clothes horse is always in every single shot in this fucking vlog. Anyway, um, me and Ev have to go into town because the car has been left there. So I think we're gonna get ramen, probably go into the Asian market because I want to get some more of those dumplings because they were like so fucking good last week. And then we'll see where the day takes us. Okay, I thought I'd show you my outfit and while I'm waiting for Evan. I'm actually having way more fun styling for winter this year. I used to always resist and now I've just gone full into it. These uh, polo necks that I wear, the kind of thicker, kind of, I think it's like a cotton spandex. They're from Los Angeles Apparel. I have a brown one as well. And they're great because they're super thin, but they're really warm, like super warm. So you don't need to wear a big chunky knit. These pants are, I've had these about two years, I think they're Levi's and they're the rib cage. I would size down. I got the 28, which usually I'm a 27, so 26 is always too small, but I should have got 26 because these are like, I have to like belt the shit out of these, but they're fake leather. And um, then I have my, I have to do this annoying TikTok pose, I'm sorry. Uh, these boots, which are from Ganny. And then, oh, I got this new coat from H&M. And there was like one left. But look how crazy the sizing is on this. This is a size 16, right? It was the last one and I was like, I want it oversized anyway. So I was like, I'll go up to like a 12, 14 to 16. I tried it on and I was like, like what? That's so insane. Like imagine, like I just feel like you'd need more room if you were a size 16. But it is like quite roomy down the end. Um, and then obviously I just belt it, which is really nice. Um, so I think it's so nice. It has like kind of lapels, um, 70s kind of vibe. And then I'm gonna wear my Prada bum bag that I got in Kildare. I wanted this for so long and it was so expensive in the Prada shop and I was like, I can't justify that. Anything over 500 quid, can't justify it. Like maybe someday maybe someday when i make more money that's kind of what i'm saying but like on the money i'm making now which is still like really good i'm so happy to be making good money uh this is kind of all i could just why this was down to like 400 quid so i bought it for myself for my birthday in kildare village that prada is really good out there if you're looking for a bargain and i was like because the one they had in brent thomas wasn't even as cute as this it was like smaller this is the one i wanted because like the big one um so i'm gonna wear that and these sunglasses these are sun wrong but uh, they were given to me by Evan. Devin, not Evan. My friend Devin gave them to me. He has a pair as well. He had two pairs and he was like, do you want one? So I was like, uh, hell yeah. So this is a look, kind of like a spy, but uh, nice and warm. I guess this is big because my hands are fully crossing over in here, but look, who cares? We're going to go into town now. Ev, do you want to show your outfit of the day? Swag.
had our ramen. Do you know what? I love the ramen bar and all, but they, I have a bone to pick with them. They're never consistent with their spice levels. And I used to always like, and when I say I've been going there for ages, right? I went there the first day where they were open. I was um, with my friend, Kim. Uh, Kim, if you're watching, you will remember, we literally stalked them until they opened because they had a sign up being like, ramen bar opening soon. So we went on the first day, we worked on South William Street and we would go there all the time. And I found recently that like their spiciness is really inconsistent. As in like, if I ask sometimes for like a mild, they'll be like, it's like there's no chili in it. And I like my ramen spicy. But then I'll ask for like, uh, and today I got medium and it was like inedible. Like literally like, Evan even took, you had some Evan, yeah. And it was like, it like every sip of the soup I took, it was like my mouth, I had coughed. So I just don't think that's not medium, you know? And I'm into my spicy shit, but it was still tasty. Evan's yours nice. I've got the brisket one always. I got a little hot chocolate from Lauderay, which is really nice. Um, it's like proper like French hot chocolate. And I got some macarons as well. We were gonna go out to Bally Mount to the big Asian market. But to be honest, like the traffic today is kind of mental. Obviously it's a Saturday and we're in town and it's busy as fuck. So instead, I think we're gonna get our Christmas tree, which I'm actually so excited for. Is it not Christmas? Oh, we put on Christmas FM. I know, well, I think, yeah, it's, it's December, 1st of December. So we're going to get our Christmas tree, um, last minute, why the fuck not? And that'll be some good vlog content also. <laughs> I'll show you us putting up our tree and we'll have some... Uh, okay, yeah, so I'll see, you, see you when we're picking out our tree. Okay, we're at the garden center. Let's see if we are successful. I'm hoping like there's still some good like eight foot trees because we need and want a big tree. So we'll see. We're trying to decide. These are fucking huge. Evan always wants the massive one. Ev always tries to get the biggest tree he can, even though our apartment only allows for like a seven and a half foot tree. Thoughts? What about this one here? Or is that huge? They're kind of 10 from those ones, aren't they? Unfortunately, there wasn't really a tree for us there. Failed attempt. Failed attempt. I know. I feel like I'm letting the vlog down, man. Um, we're going to try Concealy Garden Center. I think we're kind of probably late in the day. But then again, we came late in the day when we got our tree last year. And that tree was fucking iconic. So, I don't know. I, it was something about the like, breed. Is that the right word? Species of tree that they had. They're just a bit like... You know like the real like spiky ones? I like the kind of bluish, thicker boys. Um, anyway, we'll go see if they have one. Okay, we came out to Sobers, which is where we got our um, our tree last year. The production's kind of gone down. It used to be so much more Christmassy. And now it's like, it's Christmassy, but it's not, not as good as it used to be. Anyway, we'll see if we can get a tree. Fingers crossed. Okay, way more trees out here. I got some decorations. I can literally never help myself. Um, where's that one? Oh, I can see him. He's over there looking at trees. I think we might have got our tree. Second year in a row, this place, the orchard in uh, Selbridge. I'll show you, Ev. Hang on, I'll hold it and you can look. Picked up our tree. It's light now. We got, I think it's a 10 foot tree. We're gonna have to lob the top off some of this, but we'll go um, pay for our shit now. Father Christmas. <laughs> I think they're very door trees. <laughs> Imagine that in the cab. Okay, and now it's time to drive home. <laughs> like this. We should be alright. I think it's not as bad as last year. Everything's as bigger than last year, but I think we're alright actually. Oh god. Okay, so we got our tree. We found our decorations. We've cleared out our spot. And now the great build commences. And we have to chop off about two feet of the tree, I think. Because <laughs> it's way bigger than we thought. <laughs> okay, Evan is getting the tree. So I'm gonna leave this camera here and we'll see. The house is very messy, so you'll have to forgive. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, there we go. There you go. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm gonna make hot whiskeys. Time. <laughs> this is when the party starts up. So the tree's up. Only nearly killed each other. If that looks crooked, it's not. It's completely straight. Um, these are divine, aren't they? Yeah. Such a nice hot toddy. You should have seen the recipe there. I just put honey, jemison, cinnamon stick, and a bit of lemon. And it's so nice and hot water. This reminds me of Devin. Devin, if you're watching, do you remember? He watches my YouTube. Yes, excuse you. Um, Dev, if you're watching, our hot toddy phase member. Evan told me last year I did a really bad job of putting the lights on the tree, so now it's his turn to dazzle me with his skills. forward and looking like it was going to fall and smash and we had to do some rearranging which was laborious however we're finished